Cologne means rabid co-workers, gold boxes with disappointing treasures, and a torrential downpour of beer. My family drives me to Cologne early to find my hotel, and enjoy the afternoon before we have to say goodbye. The Cologne Cathedral is right next door, so we kill time by exploring it. I'll get into more detail about the history of the building later, but for right now just know that it's an UNESCO World Heritage Site. People climb up one of its spires to get an overview of the city, but we're too exhausted to even try. Downstairs is a crypt, which is the most air-conditioned space I've stood in for the last two weeks. This is what the whole building was created for, the Shrine of the Three Kings. The story goes that the relics of the Magi, meaning their mortal remains, were in Constantinople but brought to Milan in 344 AD. Holy Roman Emperor Frederick Barbarossa stole the relics from Milan in 1164 and gave them to the Archbishop of Cologne. Shrine construction started in 11 AD, but finished in 1225. That's 45 years to make a triple-decker golden coffin. Remember the theme of extreme delays in connection with this cathedral. It will come up again. The box contains the remains of a young boy, a man, and an elderly man if eyewitness reports from July 20th, 1864 can be believed. Just to be clear, in my opinion, these are three random corpses that Barbarossa found. He was more conqueror than archaeologist. We meet Barbara, a former student of my father for lunch. She leads us to a local restaurant she likes called Spitz. I ask what's good on the menu and she says she normally gets liver. I falter in my adventurous spirit and get pork, which immediately makes me feel guilty for not trying something new. Anyway, Barbara is closer to my age, so I have a fun time asking her about the city and what people do for fun. We make plans to meet again so she can show me around town. It's almost time for my coworkers to arrive, so Beata, my father, and I go back to the hotel. They're gonna see me again before we leave Germany, but it's still a little sad. My coworkers. My coworkers arrive like a group of crazed hobos with no idea of what the local time is. Even though I know that it's well before 6 p.m., Everyone starts drinking.